Just a couple hours ago, I-70 opened back up through Golden. And chances are you or someone you know was caught up in this backup. And when you see just how bad this crash was, you can see why it took so long to open up the interstate. And tonight, the biggest concern is for the two young victims, an 8-year-old boy and a 5-year-old girl who had to be airlifted to Children's Hospital. And Denver 7 reporter Russell Haythorn is joining us. And you saw the wreckage, and it is scary for anyone who saw that. Yeah, and especially for those of you with children, you can see traffic moving on I-70 again, but this thing was tied up for five hours earlier today because of a serious accident, a crash that left two kids fighting to recover. They took a, a, a serious hit. A heartbreaking scene on I-70, a child's car seat in the roadway, a stuffed animal close by, the car they were in, a mangled mess. The semi attempted to break. There's a ton of marks back here. But it was too late. According to troopers, the driver of the semi careened into the back of the white Chevy, a family on vacation from Florida. The two children in the back seat airlifted to Children's Hospital. The male and female in front, presumably the parents, taken to St. A's in Lakewood. The white Chevy spun out and then the semi continued, slamming into the back of this Toyota as well. Not paying attention or going too fast entering the construction zone. We checked with the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. The truck was operated by Graybo Trucking out of Lyons. The company has a good rating with three drivers and no other injury crashes. Trooper Nate Reed taking the moment to remind all of us, precious lives are at stake. Even if you know, you're know you a professional driver even, uh, we have to limit our distractions. And we don't know exactly what happened if this person was distracted, but um, we do know that he impacted a bunch of lives today. So the two adults in that white car presumed to be the parents, they were treated and released. The other adult in the other car, she was also treated for moderate injuries. We're still awaiting an update on the condition of the children. Last we heard they were in serious condition and the Colorado State Patrol still hasn't charged the driver of the truck. We're live in Jeffco, Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.